Good morning, guys. Welcome to another episode of Wrong Side Simulations Channel, bringing you the best content from the wrong side of the airplane, the right seat. And as always, my name is Blake, and I'm a real world flight dispatcher, aiming to bring you a little more context to your flight sim viewing experience. Welcome uh, to take two. We only got six minutes into the stream, and for some reason, my internet. So uh, here we are again, trying it again. Um, the internet has dropped twice so far this morning. Hopefully that's not a trend of things to come. Um, we're going to keep an eye on that. Of course, the day that I want to... It seems like every time that I want to stream all day, I have issues. So, nonetheless. We have a long day of flying ahead of us on our agenda today. We are going to show off again the... Um, the uh, Flight Sim PM throttle, We've got it all backlit, everything set up correctly. Um, we also want to do a little tour of Spirit Airlines' new stations that they are uh, starting service at, um, which includes Albuquerque, which is where we're leaving from. Um, let me make sure my bow. There we go. Uh, Albuquerque, Reno, Boise, and Salt Lake. So we're trying to touch all four airports today. If we're doing it realistically, it's going to have to be. Um, in or out of Vegas. Um, so I'm not really sure how we're going to do that. But I want to touch all four of the airports. So, <clears throat> before we get to it, Zach, good morning, my friend. Hey, hey, hey. I guess that's, uh, that's the uh, XP72 way of doing things, right? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> uh, but good morning, Zach. Welcome aboard. Kieran, good morning. Welcome. Thank you all for coming and stopping by and, and hanging out with me this morning. I greatly appreciate it. Hope I can... Uh, Give y'all some nice content to watch. Internet company saying you're hogging on the internet, <laughs> cutting you off. Shoot, they owe me internet. In fact, I still haven't gotten the full speeds that I upgraded to. I upgraded to a gig, and the last time I looked, I was getting like 600. So they're still like shorting me by 400 uh, megabits per second. Um, but anyways, hope y'all are having a great morning. Uh, what's today? Hump day, right? It's Wednesday. Can the computer even tell you that? Oh, it's Thursday. Holy shit. That's right, because I go back to work tomorrow, and I'll start work on Friday. Cabana! What's up, dude? Good morning. Let's get to it. It is the first flight of the day. The airplane is nice, cold, and dark. Now, again, we are going to be showing off, um, and Cabana, I know you weren't here yesterday, so I'm going to show this to you real quick, and st stand by, I guess that kicked off too, and the internet kicked off, up with the Wi-Fi portion of my internet. So my computer is hardwired. Seems like everything that's on Wi-Fi is not working. I was trying to connect my uh, iPad to the Phoenix airplane and it wasn't connecting. I've already restarted my router and modem. Alright. 
wheel my little chair on over. Bam, there we go. So that is what we're going to be flying with today. Let's see if now. My EFB is still not working. Oh well. So we're going to be uh, flying this today. This is the Flight Sim PM Airbus Throttle. We're going to be putting it through its paces. It is all backlit today. So we'll get to that when we get to that. Let's uh, get the airplane fired up and get rolling. I'm off today, so I'm here for the long haul. So hopefully, you may have to jump on. You should absolutely do it. In fact, if you want, Zach, exactly you're more than welcome to uh, fly with me. I'll try to let you know ahead of time what the legs are going to be, so you can um, you can plan for them. Cabana says we'll get to work together tomorrow. Nice. You coming up to uh, Orlando? What's your sensitivity settings for the TCA side stick on the Phoenix? Uh, I don't have anything set specifically for the Phoenix, um, but on the side stick, um, nothing really. I just have a four percent dead zone. Yeah, four percent dead zone. Everything, everything else is zero, and then reactivity is one hundred percent. That's about it. life is running Sweet. Um, which jetline system did you purchase um, in fact I actually went into jetline they're about an hour and a half down the road from me so I went there and we pieced my comp my computer together piece by piece instead of doing like one of the preset um, computers they have online uh, so mine's a little more custom than what you might find online. I think the case that I got isn't even offered online. Um, but it's a, um, it's got an RTX 3080, 64 gigs of uh, VRAM. All of it's Corsair. Everything in there is, is Corsair. Like Corsair Vengeance um, RGB Pro VRAM, um, Intel i7, all that good stuff. I'm not the biggest computer person, which is why I'm always having to reach out to Tony. Temperature is minus 37. Back, I mean, 
so that we're doing this together. So, cruising at 320, temperature is minus 37. Our triple pause is 494, which is supposed to be five digits. So it'll be 494, we'll just throw in some extra shit. Cool, flight plan, Albuquerque, departing off runway should be eight. transition insert that Vegas arrival Rockstar 3 haha -ha. transition insert that check for some discons looks good Secondary, we'll copy the active, and here, hold, cute, that'll be our engine out, yeah, I don't know how you say that, Rin radar, I don't know, we'll call it radar, uh, ABQ, I always struggle to find the Q, Nits, the wind at an uplink. Back over to a knit, and our zero fuel weight is 134.9. Do a standard CG of 30, block fuel. 11.5 Taxi out, it's going to be a real short taxi, we call it 300 pounds Route reserve zero, no alternate today on this flight And then our reserve fuel is 3.2 going. Just gonna board everything instant so we can get this flight going.
All right. We are ready to go when you are. Albuquerque's altimeter is Take off on it. Weights will be 131, to the four, and your a CG of uh, 30.5. Right and our Mac toes will be 29.8. down 0 0.3 flex temp 56 engine out 6320 these speeds 31 35 35 Let's get our departure brief in real quick. It's going to be a right seat takeoff. It's a 320 for tough strike avoidance. There's no MLS CDLs that degrade the performance of the aircraft. It's going to be a single engine taxi out, even though it's a short taxi. Um, actually, we'll do a two engine taxi. Make our lives a little bit easier. Uh, taxi route today is going to be pretty straightforward. Uh, Charlie Alpha Alpha 1. No uh, hot spots, no runways to cross. Terrain is a factor, so we'll turn the terrain on the ND, but weather is no factor. If we have to abort uh, before V1, be my decision to reject the takeoff. Come to please stop, set the parking brakes. Um, call flight system station, analyze situation, call for any ECAM actions or emergency evacuation checklist as required. After V1, we're going to go flying. Our engine out procedure is to hold at radar. We'll speed up, clean up. Engine out is 6320 off the ground. Uh, we are under max landing weight, and we'll be landing uh, runway 8. Looks like it's going to be a pretty, uh, pretty sharp turnout once we get off the ground. So once we hit 400 feet, we'll start that turn and avoid that uh, train out ahead of us. Um, if all goes as planned, we're going to fly the uh, radar, the radar three, or however you call this, R D R N R. What would y'all call that? I'm going to put this in the chat so y'all can see it. How would y'all pronounce that? 
Oh man, look at that. We got V1 simulations in the house. My man, what is going on? Good morning, dude. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for joining us on this uh, little flight out of Albuquerque. So man, how am I supposed to get you for a dispatcher if you're never at work? <laughs> Pretty soon he's going to be dispatching and setting up all the airplanes before the crews get there. Hey, I'm down to do it. <laughs> I absolutely would. I definitely want my work cross-checked though before uh, before we leave. But yeah, I am uh, I am now a dispatch manager. Um, so I don't actively work the desk unless somebody like we call in some overtime and. Um, nobody picks up the overtime and like our guys need help then I can jump in on the desk and help out but uh, pretty soon though and this will directly affect you uh, I will be taking over all of our routes inside of our flight planning software so we have a lot of routes that are like really messed up so it's gonna be my job to go in and correct the routes and keep our route database as up-to-date as I possibly can um, I'm supposed to learn how to do that on the 17th so not too much longer and that's going to be my my big project so you know who to yell at if the routes are messed up now give me like a month so we'll say september 17th after then you can yell at me <laughs> all right <clears throat> i think we are about ready to go to make sure everything else looks right cool all right the four start checklist maintenance log and tails onboard and check copper press complete gear pins covers our move signs are on hey dears uh, our nav fuel min required is uh, 10.1 and we've got 11.5 on board. Uh, altimeters 30-34 set, EFB's checklist or slides. That's why we do checklists. Windows door slides closing on, beacons on, thrust levers are in idle, parking brake is on, transponder is in auto before start. Checklist is complete. All right, let's rock and roll. And brakes are released. We're pushing. We'll start them up. Gentlemen, please direct your attention to the screen for an important safety demonstration. Thank you for flying with us. Gentlemen, we'd like your attention to report the safety features of this Airbus A330. Please proceed to the next aircraft. Please remain seated and proceed to the next aircraft. Please remain seated and proceed to the next aircraft. Please remain seated and proceed to the next aircraft. Please remain seated and proceed to the next aircraft. Please remain seated and proceed to the next aircraft. Please remain seated and proceed to the next aircraft. Please remain seated and proceed to the next aircraft. Please remain seated and proceed to the next aircraft. Please remain seated and proceed to the next aircraft. Please remain seated and proceed to the next aircraft. Please remain seated and proceed to the next aircraft. Please remain seated and proceed to the next aircraft. Please remain seated and proceed to the next aircraft. Please remain seated and proceed to the next aircraft. Please remain seated and proceed to the next aircraft. Please remain seated and proceed to the next aircraft. Please remain seated and proceed to the next aircraft. Please remain seated and proceed to the next aircraft. Please remain seated and proceed to the next aircraft. Please remain seated and proceed to the next aircraft. Please remain seated and proceed to the next aircraft. Please remain seated and proceed to the next aircraft. Do you want to hear this track for me? Four overweight window exits and two rear exit doors. Slides overhead and aisle path lighting lead to all exits. All exits are equipped with evacuation signs that inflate automatically. Look around and locate the exit nearest to you. Keep in mind that it may be behind you. If you need an oxygen mask, we'll drop from the compartment above your seat. Pull the mask towards your face, place it over your nose and mouth, and breathe normally. Secure the mask with the elastic strap. Although oxygen will be flowing, the plastic bag may not appear to inflate. A crew member will inform you on a safe trip. Move your mask. That's about as loud as you would probably realistically hear it in the cockpit. Um, <clears throat> I am on VATSIM. Roadrunner Suite. No more filing us for the UK. Yeah, no joke. I think, so the issue with that, like our, our dispatch software plans, it wants to select the shortest route. And newer dispatchers are trained at like, hey, the software is going to choose the shortest route. So a lot of times they put their, their faith in that. And on a on an area departure, um, often that's going to be shorter because you know our navs are going to have a little bit more to them. Therefore, the software chooses it. The newer dispatchers are like, oh, I'm just going to go with whatever this chooses, as long as like weather's not an issue, and they just go with that. We have to have them turned on because in the event that we have an email for a non RNAV SID, then or non RNAV star, we have to have them turned on in the software so we can use them. Uh, so therefore, they have to stay on, but the dispatchers have to be vigilant to know what SIS and STARS they're filing. Um, that's kind of uh, like getting an eye for the software and catching what it's doing. So, but if you see that happening all the time, um, let me know. 
In fact, the if you um if you want, it's totally up to you, man. But if you want to um, reach out to me in your in my Discord, um, shoot me a DM. I can totally send you my phone number. And if you do have any issues with routing at all, and I'm like I used to um, live the crash pad life for about two and a half years. So I got a lot of a lot of pilot buddies and. Tell them the same thing. Like, hey, if y'all see a messed up route, text it to me. I've got a list of routes going that need correcting. So if you see anything like that, it would be greatly appreciated if you could text it to me. And uh, that way I can fix it. All right, so engine two is available. Engine mode selected with normal. Arm spoilers, reset rudder trim, flaps two. Down. See, I gotta change that on the trim wheel. And again, guys, big shout out to my buddy Jim, fellow co worker slash dispatch buddy who uh, loaned this throttle to me. This is the Flight Sim PM throttle. Little different from V1s. I uh, don't think it's as high a quality, but I wanted to take a look at it since I could, since I had one available to me before I go buying one. So I'm, it's a competition between this one and the Throttle Tech. Not really sure which one I want to go with. Alrighty. After start checklist, engine and ice is off. Yellow pump is off. And road trim is zero. After start is complete. Albuquerque traffic, spirit wings 2511. Taxi in to runway 8, exiting the airspace to uh, the west. Albuquerque. Since it's such a short taxi, we'll get over close to the runway and we'll do all of our uh, the rest of our stuff over there. Hold here before we start getting in the way on the taxiways. Break is set. Alrighty, mini brief. <coughs> Parting off runway 8, gross weight's 142.8. Flaps config 2, fuel is 11.4, V1 131, V2 is 135, reflex at 56, top altitude is 20,000 feet, and our first fix is. Tyler, flight controls check. Full up, full down, neutral, full left, full right, neutral rudder, full left, full right, neutral. Flight controls check is complete. Alrighty, gross weight compared to the complete pitch trim is 29.8% CG set, V1, VRV2 flex is 131, 135, 135 flex 56, flaps config 2, I guess we got something going on, All right. Um, flight suspension check, flight controls check, ECMO, takeoff all green, ECM status check, bridge and winches on auto, take cast code set, TRA, cam cruise advised, mini briefs complete, four takeoff checklist, two the lines complete. Alright, let's keep that taxi going.
really sure we got two wind socks over there. Just make sure that you really see what the winds are doing. I can't remember who made this scenery, it's pretty nice though. The Spirit should be starting service to Albuquerque, if not already. I can't remember what day that Spirit starts. It's very soon. We've already started um, service at Salt Lake. They, I think, start started Reno yesterday. And Boise's coming up, I think, on the 13th. I can't remember. I mixed a couple of those up. Before takeoff below the line, takeoff runway 8 is confirmed. Fuel men again is 10.1, and we've got 11.3 on board. Uh, engine mode selectors normal. Big packs are set before takeoff checklist below the lines completes. Albuquerque traffic, Spirit Wings 2511 departing off runway 8, exiting airspace to the west. Albuquerque. Let's get her done, boys. I'm doing this because I got buttons for all of that. Clear on the approach. Clear down the runway. Flight director 
clear, Route 2511 is clear, runway 8 makes an airspace to the west. Get caught back up in the chat. Hmm. He's too cool to talk on Telegram, too. <laughs> you, um, Jeff, do you send me stuff on Telegram? Oh, I see. Dang. That would have been cool, dude. very well heard best enunciation I've heard on the overhead oh yeah that thing is super loud I always have to turn it down <laughs> how do you get on VATSIM so to get on VATSIM you um, and this is for uh, aviation expert you download the uh, VATSIM or the vpilot client and uh, after you file your flight plan you get connected on there and then you'll be able to be seen by everybody. So this is the uh, v, the V Pilot client. So you just hit connect, fill out a couple details like what's your call sign, your aircraft type, and then you're connected. Just want to make sure that you have a uh, flight plan um, filed. So like for me, what I'll usually do from Simbrief, I'll just come up here to the top and hit 